Imagine trying to win a world war using math. One of the greatest threats to humanity was brought to its knees, not just by bullets or bombs, but by logic, symbols, and silence. This is the story of how a team of eccentric geniuses cracked the Nazis' unbreakable enigma code and helped end World War II two years early. This is the forgotten world of Station X. By the late 1930s, Nazi Germany believed it had built the perfect fortress of communication, the Enigma machine. With over 150 million million possible settings, it encrypted orders, strategies, and secrets with chilling efficiency. Hitler trusted it. The Wehrmacht trusted it. The entire Third Reich trusted it. But they were wrong. Because across the channel, in a quiet English estate known as Bletchley Park, a war was being fought, not with bullets, but with logic. With intellect. With machine against machine. And that battle would change the course of World War II. Welcome to Station X. In 1939, Bletchley Park was transformed into the most secretive brain trust of the war, Station X. Its mission, crack the uncrackable, break the enigma. This was no ordinary operation. The people recruited weren't just soldiers or spies. They were mathematicians, linguists, crypt analysts, even crossword puzzle champions. Among them was a name that would echo through history, Alan Turing. But he wasn't alone. Egyptologists, anthropologists, chess prodigies, and eccentric minds of every kind converged at Bletchley, forming a code-breaking Avengers of sorts. Poland's secret weapon. Before Britain ever saw an Enigma machine, Polish intelligence had already begun cracking its armor. In the 1930s, the brilliant Polish mathematicians Marian Rajewski, Jerzy Rosicki, and Henryk Zygalski deciphered key components of the Enigma's design. When Nazi Germany invaded Poland in 1939, the Poles smuggled this invaluable knowledge to Britain, handing the Allies a critical head start. Without the Poles, there might never have been a bomb. Never a Bletchley Park breakthrough. The birth of the bomb. Alan Turing's genius lay in seeing patterns where others saw chaos. He built upon the Polish findings and devised a radical solution, a machine that could think faster than any man, the bomb. The bomb simulated Enigma's workings, eliminating incorrect settings in a fraction of the time. What once took weeks could now be done in hours. With the bomb running day and night, messages once thought sealed by iron logic began to spill secrets. Operation Ultra, the intelligence that won the war. The decrypted intelligence was codenamed Ultra, and it changed everything. At the Battle of Matapan, British forces ambushed the Italian Navy based on decrypted Enigma messages. At El Alamein, Ultra revealed Rommel's supply lines, giving Montgomery the upper hand in North Africa. Churchill would later say, it was thanks to Ultra that we won the war. But Enigma wasn't just used on land. It was devastating at sea. And that was the next battlefield. The Battle of the Atlantic and the U-boat threat. German U-boats were sinking Allied convoys at a terrifying rate. The Atlantic became a graveyard, threatening to starve Britain into surrender. The naval version of Enigma was even more complex, and Station X struggled to keep up. Then came the miracle. In 1941, the Royal Navy captured U-110. Inside, Enigma machines, codebooks, and ciphers. It was a gold mine. With these in hand, Bletchley Park began locating and rerouting Allied convoys, dodging U-boats, and slowly turning the tide. The Lorenz cipher, a new enemy appears. Just when the Allies had the upper hand, the Germans deployed an even deadlier cipher machine, Lorenz. It was used for Hitler's top-secret high-command messages. More complex than Enigma, it had 12 wheels and astronomical combinations. To tackle it, engineer Tommy Flowers did the unthinkable. He built the world's first programmable computer, Colossus. Colossus could process thousands of characters per second, deciphering Lorenz messages in near real time. This wasn't just code-breaking anymore. It was the birth of modern computing. D-Day and the masterstroke of deception. In 1944, the Allies prepared for the greatest amphibious invasion in history, D-Day. But they needed the element of surprise. Station X played a crucial role, feeding false intelligence to the Germans through decrypted channels. Hitler became convinced the invasion would happen at Calais, not Normandy. When the real invasion began, the German army was waiting in the wrong place. Thanks to Bletchley, 
The Allies had the upper hand. The beachheads held. The war began to turn. The legacy of Station X. After the war, everything was dismantled. The machines were destroyed. The work classified. The heroes of Bletchley Park went home in silence. But their legacy was seismic. Historians estimate they shortened the war by two years, saved millions of lives, and ushered in the computer age. Station X wasn't just a place. It was a revolution in secrecy in science in what human minds could achieve. The pen, or the algorithm, truly was mightier than the sword. If this hidden chapter of World War II history inspired you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more untold stories of courage, brilliance, and resilience. History isn't just about what happened. It's about who made it happen, often behind closed doors. Join us next time as we uncover more lost legacies.